final nail in his coffin. Queen sacks Harry from final royal role at last minute for smearing royals. The Queen is reportedly on the cusp of sacking Prince Harry from one last royal role, cutting him off even further. Despite having left behind his official royal post, family, patronages, honorary military roles and, most likely, any chance of ever being warmly welcomed inside the royal box at Wimbledon, Prince Harry is now facing the loss of his final royal office. According to reporting by the Daily Mail, Buckingham Palace courtiers are looking into removing Harry and his disgraced uncle Prince Andrew as councillors of state. Well, perhaps for not much longer given that both Harry and Andrew have been forced to be open for change whether they like it or not. There was a certain element of deja vu to all of this given it was nearly one year ago that Her Majesty was forced to do the same thing to Harry in terms of his honorary armed services roles and his position as the President of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust after the 12-month Megxit ghouling off period came to an end. Given both Andrew and Harry's dramatically changed status, Buckingham Palace aides seem to think they should no longer hold the potentially powerful positions of councillors of state. It is a genuine problem that the palace is looking to address, a royal source told the Mail. Can you imagine the Duke of York having to sign official documents, for example, because the Prince of Wales and the Duke of Cambridge were both abroad, and the Queen became ill? The royal source said. It's not an exaggeration to say it could put the monarchy in jeopardy. Seemingly referencing Andrew's court case and the publication of Harry's autobiography, the source also said, there could be events later this year which make such a change necessary. For Harry, this is just the latest in a long line of indignities he has faced since making the life-altering decision to quit as a working member of the royal family. When his grandfather Prince Philip passed away in April last year, initially it was reported that he would be barred from wearing military dress. In July last year, when Harry returned to the UK for the unveiling of the statue he co-commissioned with William of their mother Diana, Princess of Wales he was, for unknown reasons, denied official Metropolitan Police protection. This week came more bad news for private citizen Andrew and private citizen Harry with it being reported that they will not be eligible to receive the Queen's Platinum Jubilee Medal as they no longer hold their honorary military titles. While both men are actual veterans, only living recipients of the George Cross or Victoria Cross will be awarded the gong. That said, Harry and Andrew will still get the medals but only as souvenirs which they will not be able to wear on official occasions. Still, all of these decisions, the military titles, the HRHs in abeyance, could theoretically be reversed. However, having Parliament take formal action to remove them as councillors of state is in another league entirely. If the Queen does take steps to have this situation remedied and Harry is axed, there really is no going back. I know, I know. After everything that has happened, Harry is not going to suddenly throw his hands up in the air and decide he misses Greg's sausage rolls, warm lager and the chance to occasionally open a scout hall and say he wants back into British life and royal duties. Being removed, by Parliament no less, as a councillor of state would really be the nail in Harry's coffin of his former life as a frontline member of the royal family. And while change might be inevitable but that doesn't mean it does not hurt. 2016 era Meghan counselled herself that she wanted to make my plans, and be okay if they sometimes break. Let's hope that is a piece of painfully true wisdom she has shared with Harry. Piece of painfully